Yo, what's up, everybody? Como esta mi gente? It's your puppy Frankie Hidalgo right here. So today we're going to go over the D major scale. It's actually got the same fingering as your C and your G major scale. So let's get started. We're going to start with our right hand, finger one, put it on D. Now we're going to put, from there, we're going to go finger two E, finger three F sharp, cross over G, finger one, finger two A, finger three B, Finger four, C sharp. I'm gonna do two octaves. So instead of ending on my pinky, I'm gonna cross over, put thumb under to D. Finger one, E. Finger two, F sharp, finger three. Cross thumb over, G. A, finger two. B, finger three. C sharp, finger four. Pinky, finger five, D. And then we're gonna go back down. So we're gonna go D. Five, four, three, two, one. Finger three, cross over to the F sharp. F sharp, E, D. I'm gonna cross my fourth finger over to C sharp. B, A, G, third finger over F sharp. E, and D. And there you have it, that's the right hand. Now the left hand, we're gonna start with the finger five on D. So finger five D, finger four E, finger three F sharp, finger two G, finger one A. Now we're going to do the middle finger over, over the thumb to the B, finger 3B, finger 2 C sharp, finger 1 D, finger 4 cross over to the E, finger 3 F sharp, finger 2 G, finger 1 A, finger 3 over to B, finger 2 C sharp, finger 1 D. Now we're going to go back down, so D, finger 2 C sharp, finger 3 B. I'm going to cross my thumb under over to the next note. A, finger one, G, finger two, F sharp, finger three, uh, ring finger, E, finger four, and then I'm going to cross the D under to the D, finger two, C sharp, finger three, B, cross over, thumb under, A, finger one, finger two, G, finger three, F sharp, finger four, D, and then finger five, sorry, finger four, E, finger five, D. Now, if we put it together, it looks like this. Okay? And just a quick reminder, you want to make sure you keep your fingers curved. You don't want to be doing this sort of thing on the piano. All over, keep your hands centered, curved, relaxed. Just like if you're gonna grab a you know, gonna grab a door and up or a ball, your hand is in a nice curve, relaxed, and uh in normal state, right? You're not doing this to grab a ball or anything, all right. And then keep in mind the areas that you're crossing over. So when you go D, E, F sharp, uh remember that okay, I gotta cross my thumb over. And something I always recommend is that when you're playing through any scales, hands together, especially when you're starting them, make sure you, like, even if you have to stop, you think, okay, what two fingers are going next, and you play them at the same time. Don't do this, and then try getting the left hand. Usually what ends up happening is you just end up confusing yourself more, and it just becomes uh, kind of messy. So if you want to get this quick, do it super slow, and go both fingers at the same time. So if I'm gonna hit a D, both hands D at the same time. Both hands E at the same time. And I assure you, if you work on it this way, slow and precise, you're gonna get it. And eventually this will become much easier. Also keep in mind, the more of these scales you do, the easier it gets. So keep that in mind. Uh, for, for all that are sort of new to this channel, if you have not, please hit that subscribe button hit that like button. It's your way of saying thank you and keep putting more content up. And I appreciate the time you take to look through my stuff. It's always my pleasure. Well, till next time, mi gente, it's your boy Frankie Hidalgo. Till the next scale or the next tutorial or the next cover, you know where to find me. Hit me up. Take it easy, all right? We'll see ya.